together. Nine eight nine. I paid nine eight nine. No, for real. Like all of them entrees, put that shit on her table. Cause I ain't paying for it. So and then that that I'm sorry to cut you off. I got ADHD. If I don't say the shit, <laughs> I if think I don't, y'all do. I'm, 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 I'm diagnosed on paying for it. We 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 us. We undiagnosed. If I don't say the shit, it'll right. run out of my mind. Right, right. So that makes me ask, as you know, women. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming single of some sort. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a man. Not you. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. I make sure. <laughs> so, identify the man. How how do y'all Thank you for feel the about the about the date about how, the standard of dating when it comes to women in the sense of there are a lot of women who have at least three men on their roster in the sense of there's one you actually like. Mm-hmm. There's one you tolerate mm-hmm. and one that brings you food or will take you out to eat if you're hungry. I don't got none. Mix that question. I don't got none. She got none. six then. I don't have no. I, she no, has no, six. I don't got none of the three of them on my roster. So she got three. So we're gonna remix it. You got I six because you got both. So you just got one that you like. I, we're gonna be the Not at the current moment, but if I was talking to somebody, then yeah. Like I, I don't believe. Like, do I believe in dating people? Like, and when you're dating Most somebody. I'm gonna date multiple people because I'm not gonna put all my eggs in one basket just because, like, we're just in the. So you have to talk to a child like, don't look at nothing. Don't touch so nothing. Don't, don't touch nothing. Don't ask for nothing. Sit your ass we ain't right here. We got no money. We got no money. Don't ask for no food right at the house. Yeah, because you want food at the house. Would you feel disrespected if a nigga sent you $30 for lunch? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I won't. 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 No, I can do a lot with thirty dollars for can't lunch. You know how many meals I can have for thirty dollars? I can get some for Chipotle. Lunch. I can get some Chipotle, some Chick Fil A, two meals. But I'm still trying to yeah. figure out what did she need that your lunch was. Was Where above thirty dollars? Where are you going to? That's, you should that's have had some change over like, there. First off, she said she was at work and she was hungry. You Ooh. just need and a tad bit of. In what eat. time frame at being at work do you have? Time to spend more than thirty dollars for lunch at yeah, work. What? <laughs> what kind of job do you have where you can just go sit in the fucking restaurant? And it's over thirty dollars. And it's over thirty dollars. First of all, for you to be talking about you trying to spend a hundred, like obviously you want him to send you a hundred dollars clearly or over a hundred dollars for lunch. My thing is, where the hell are you going? She getting caviar, lobster. Why? For lunch? She getting a little... For, for lunch? lunch? For lunch? She That's what what it is, is, she's having She told lunch. her friend she was fucking with a baller. And that she would, he would buy lunch for all of them. Mm-hmm. And when he only said $30, she looked stupid. She looked stupid. Mm-hmm. But that's, that's really dumb. what that shit was. That's stupid, though. That's I said, like, I, to be, and that's crazy that we're talking about that because I've been watching a couple of oh, videos. I was going to say, nigga, since you $30, I'm going to say, ooh, no. shit. Hey, what is ooh, shit. I'm going to say, $32.95. dollars no, okay. <laughs> To be honest, I had a person, I told somebody, somebody I was talking to, mm-hmm. I told him that I was hungry. And I wanted some sushi for lunch. Mm-hmm. He sent me twenty five dollars. That was enough for me for my sushi and the tip, in there because I was having it delivered. And, and a drink. He probably still had a drink. Anybody like that? And I had a drink in there. He still had three dollars left too. Four drinks. You know what dashed it? Yeah. Oh, that was all twenty five dollars. Yeah. It was, but I still, yeah. but I, but it was enough for me to get my food. Yeah. yeah. I, and I probably was drinking water. I had probably had some juice from that morning or mm-hmm. something that I bought in the lunch anyway. But the point is. What are you? Thirty dollars? That ain't enough for lunch. Baby, thirty dollars. If you see thirty dollars and you didn't DoorDash, <laughs> it's a you least had a your whole meal and you could have got a, 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 a candy and snack and at work. It could have. Yeah. But the, uh, I've been seeing some videos like that. Yeah, that is absurd. Like That's the they want, shit. they really want you. It. Like a girl was like, "Oh, I had the no the one the one video I just watched. She it, she had her it's her birthday." Mm-hmm. 
she done invited 18 of her friends. Oh, I think I saw that. And she get mad at her boyfriend or the date, the dude she dated. She gets mad at him because he, he only paid for her. her food and I guess his food. And she was like, nobody ain't trying to date no broke nigga and this and that and the third. Why do you think that he's responsible for paying for all your friends? How do you feel? How do you feel entitled to somebody else's money? I'm gonna play devil's advocate in this thing. motherfucker. And my thing is, if we hit doing it like that, everybody getting fucked. As they should. As, as everybody, respectfully. Everybody get a hot pocket. So respectfully. Disrespectfully. This is you getting choked, you getting smacked. Res- respectfully not, and disrespectfully. Well, well you can come to your face. It's all, it's, 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 everybody get a shake. All of all, all 19, all 19, 19, 19, 19 of y'all. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to preview that on you. But they should. On you. So listen, <laughs> yeah. I'm, not a man, I'm not a man that feels like I have to get sex if I spend a certain amount in dinner. That's mm-hmm. different. If I'm paying for you with all your friends, but that's I, I'm, I'm expecting group sex the way you expected me to pay for but that's everybody's entitlement. Menage a trois. Like why why are we it's entitled? entitled? We're not entitled. You're not entitled to his money. Or like the video that I that I just sent y'all today. The girl at the restaurant, they done bought drinks. She bought six entrees. Mm-hmm. And was mad because he didn't want to pay for it. Girl, who what the you hell did this one got? You can't be that three hungry babies. To this one had pasta, oxtails, a whole fish, Rasta fried pasta. fish. Now, if you were doing that for the table, that's a bit of it a It was just her right here. If you homeless, say you homeless. Not I can for real. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <you, laughs> uh, for the general public, <laughs> unhoused. I apologize. <laughs> I don't like to go by I'm homeless anymore. It's unhoused. unhoused. Respectfully, if you do not have a place to live and eat, say that to mm-hmm. me, and I can understand what you're doing. I don't no, for real. condone it, she but I can understand. The person that sleeps on the mattress at home has all the social media posts. Yep. Sleeps on the mattress at home with no food in the refrigerator. Yes. I can see that. Because my yes. thing is, like I told you earlier, I would have... Roach is crawling on her <laughs> By the time she got the entree number three, I'd be like, shit, I ain't pissed today. I need to go use the bathroom. <laughs> no, I, I would have left. I would have left. I would have left. I would have been there. That's true. I'm not even fit to wait for them to bring the food out to the table. I'm leaving when you order it. Mm-hmm. Because it's disrespectful. It's these females are so Let entitled... Me- that they feel like these men are supposed to, but we done talked about that before let me, about let them me go being to the so bar. entitled. Excuse me, honey, I'm gonna go to the bar real quick. Hey, all oh, this shit she ordered, put that on put her it on her table. Her table, her name, her yes. first last name. Separate she live at 245 L Street. If I was him, as a matter of fact, when you see me get up and go to the bathroom, that's bring her the receipt. If I was him, <laughs> I'd have went to them and told them, charge me for my two drinks. And her first meal. And her, her I first wouldn't meal. even pay for the meal. Yeah, the appetizer I was nine, for, nine. And she had appetizers yeah. too. And it took no point. I did appetizers. Did I eat some of the appetizers? It's my first cheese sticks. We have them together. Okay. You we have them together. I'll pay for those. I'll pay for those. 989. I'll pay 989. No, for real. Like, all of them entrees, put that shit on her table. Because I ain't paying for it. So and then that, that, I'm sorry to cut you off. Good. I got ADHD. If I don't say this shit, if, I think if I don't, y'all do. I'm, I'm, I'm diagnosed on paper. We, 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 we undiagnosed. If I don't say the shit, that ain't run out of my mind. Right, right. So that makes me ask, as, you know, women, mm-hmm. I'm assuming single of some sort. Mm-hmm. I didn't have a man for this. Not you. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm bad. 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 About the date, about how the standard of dating when it comes to women in the sense of there are a lot of women who have at least three men on their roster in the sense of there's one you actually like. Mm-hmm. There's one you tolerate mm-hmm. and one that brings you food or will take you out to eat if you're hungry. I don't got none. Mix that question. I don't got, she got none. Six I don't have no. I, she no, I don't got none of the three of them on my roster. So she got three. So we're gonna remix it. So you got oh, six because you got oh, both. So you just got one that you like. Right, we we'll come to UFD. Not at the current moment, but if I was talking to somebody, then yeah, like I don't, I don't believe. Like, do I believe in dating people? Like, and when you're dating Most somebody. People. I'm going to date multiple people because I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket just because, like, we're just in the date. Dating, we're just getting to know each other. We're trying to figure out if we even want to go into a relationship with one another. So, dating multiple people, I don't have a problem with that. 
but at the same time to feel enti- like, entitled like entitled to somebody's shit. To somebody shit, I ain't doing it. I because guess what? I seen this TikTok. It say like women nowadays we're not dating for money. Some of us are not dating for money. We the niggas. We that. We the niggas 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 she, for money. she said, "We women. We ain't dating niggas for money. We the niggas with the money. I'm the nigga with the money. I don't need like when I'm dating somebody. I don't need you for your money. Yeah. I I actually want you because I actually genuinely like like your communication. I like how you look. Like I like how I feel when I'm around you. Like stuff like that." It ain't got nothing Hell, to do with I'm this surface. I'm the one saying I work too much. Hold you on. Because you, you, you do, sis. You do work too much. But no man. Go. But but no man that's dating a woman should be telling that woman you work too much. No, nigga, you need to get your hustle up. And that's how I see it. Now, you have six men on your roster. No, 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 no. She has both fields. So she has six. Oh, yeah. She played both sides. Respect. She has six. Respect. You double my bestie here. Her bestie. Respect. She got six. Respect. I said, I tell her this. She got three for each ten. I said, I tell her this all the time. I what? said, what? you're so fucking selfish. Oh, she, she, so she, I think bisexual people I are said, selfish as shit. selfish as hell. I have I said this, this forever now. I tell, her this, I tell her this because that's my sister. So mm-hmm. I can tell you this. I said, sister, that's you're selfish. Person, I, I said, you want to know why I feel like you're selfish? selfish? I said, because guess what? Unlike me, I can, if the niggas ain't acting right, I got to go find another five. In the you same can go, uh, You can go on both sides. This nigga ain't acting right. Oh, you go to this side. Listen. She can go all three sides because she can go man, woman, and identify intersex. intersex. She goes trans, what, man. What? what she but are you open to dating trans people? She loves whoever loves her. Yeah. So you're asexual. She's pan. I support that. Pansexual. There you go. I got you. I got you always. You feel me? Now, I, I don't. And this is the thing. I don't judge her fool. I love no, her fool. Like her. I, lo- I, I don't. I'm not judging my sister. She's a player. I'm judging. And but, now, like, but like I get we it. Know, we know. We know she's a player. But here's the thing. Sometimes my brain just don't. It goes on track sometimes. It don't break. It don't break. It don't break. My, it don't break. Break. my <laughs> brain just don't be breaking sometimes. And like I will get bored so fast because like, yes, you, you could be fine as shit. If I talk to you, if I get bored. Next. Yeah. But we have this issue with you all the time because you tell people the blueprint and they don't follow the blueprint. They go they go to red print instead of blueprint. They do. Mm-hmm. They but act like they're just now discovering it. I've told her uh, this is a mess that me and her had a conversation about. She I said told I gotta her stop telling people you don't friend. give these you dudes or the women, neither one, whichever whoever you're talking to, you don't give them the blueprint. She, I learned that the hard way. So I, 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 <laughs> I watched but still I watched I watched videos of women like giving dudes the blueprint mm-hmm. to how to to get them how to keep them and all of that now granted like you just said some of them don't follow it they, all they, 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 they do whatever the hell they want to do mm-hmm. but at the same time you got to decipher between the two like know when they just come into play because some of them will play their role do like it. everything like I ain't but sometimes don't it angry me it don't ask me what you, don't ask me what I want to do, what you think I want. Don't ask me none of that because you want to not not like that. And I'm talking yeah, about yeah, innocent, yeah, yeah. I'm talking yeah, about yeah, the yeah, of, disclaimer, like, disclaimer. Don't ask me certain shit like how to get me how how certain, like shit that they ask. So one of the questions that I hate is what happened between you and your ex. And I stupid. always say I don't tell people what happened between me and my ex. Just keep being you, yep. and I'll let you know whether or not I like mm-hmm. that shit. And if yes. I don't, I'll move on. If I Ooh, do, we'll that, keep rocking. That's well, it. Because that's it. Because people will use oh, what like, you, we went through this. That's really what I was trying to get. Issues. It. I'm, I'm right here with you. I got you. It did. You know, I got chism. you. You, okay. but you will because, go through. Yes. You tell them all the shit that happened in your relationship, and they'll do. The and they will fake it for you, but they will fake it for just a little bit. But you can't fake stuff like that your for so long. Right. Your truth goes. I just really want to know if I tell you I like blue, how good were you listening? Anything. You were somebody like How good were you listening? They would be some red. Exactly. <laughs> like, but if I say blue. I like blue, just just blue. I'm not gonna I, say all shades. I'm just gonna say blue. Yeah. And if I you go like, buy me something fucking pink, yeah. you weren't fucking. Listening. I don't like when I tell a dude such certain stuff like if we're having a conversation and we're talking and we're getting to know each other and I'm uh, I'm attentive to everything that you're saying like when you say certain things I note that in my head like if you tell me oh 
Yo, like this one guy I was talking to, I had red fingernail polish on my nails, and he was like, "Oh, that's my favorite my favorite color." Know it? Like if we go out on a date, I might wear I might wear red because you said that that's your favorite color. I don't know. Yeah. Just look. Hey, I play I play the game. I play the game. I'm like I play the game. Like straight up, straight up. Put on them eyes. I'm trying to tell you. Some of that sweet And we. And we like. Those ain't the only people that can play the game. I can pl like I can play it if I want to. But the thing is, I'm attentive to what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But then, when I start saying stuff and you or you ask, like you ask me the same question that you've asked me before, and I gotta repeat myself. Because I, I feel like now you're not listening. But you wasn't listening. Charge is on my mind now. My heart. I'm gonna put that there because I'm that person. Oh yeah, you can tell me something. And I'm gonna need you to reiterate it later on. Yeah, my we should have put it right like now. It's so much shit we got going on in our life. I can listen to you, I can hear you, but let something happen tomorrow, that gonna go up my mind. Yeah, when the fuck did that happen? Yeah, but I got shit that I'm dealing with too. That, but but <laughs> your mind works differently in my mind, right? <laughs> I, you can see two plus two, you might think it's four, I might think it's six. We, we have two different minds. Yes, you know, we all a little autistic. We all rolled the show bus together. Whoa. Know? <laughs> but yeah, I I had I've had them ask me like I had a guy ask me oh well what happened in your last relationship I told my response to him was we were we had a a mutual degree I mean a mutual degree a mutual we had a mutual a conversation <laughs> we came to a conclusion that we was better off as friends mm -hmm. and that's what happened. And I feel like that's the best answer to get. Because like he said, you get to the point where you tell people, oh, well, this happened. Well, they told me that they like left instead of right. And then we're going to lie and say, oh, well, I like right. They yeah. will. I like right even though they left him. Oh, my God. You mm -hmm. want to know the biggest thing that I, I said? If they be like, what you like to do? I don't know. I'm adventurous. Yeah. I, I like to go off that. The shit that fits me about you. They text me to the goddamn park. Sir. I said, uh, I'm ice cream. adventurous. Uh, ice Take cream. me on a hike. But the shit with her makes me mad. She tells niggas that she has social anxiety. Niggas take it to pack clicker. Yes, oh, I hold on. That's dumb. Dumb. hold on. That's dumb. Do you have actual social anxiety? Yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> what happens just, to you I in just, social settings? I don't like it. I get very uncomfortable. She does. Mm -hmm. And I shut down. She does. Hey, what does shut down look like? Sorry, this is what I do for a living. Yeah. yeah. Unless I'm in a group of people mm -hmm. that I know, like mm -hmm. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Or just a small set. Like it was a cigar bar. Yeah. Cigar bar is packed, but it was us. Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. Like but if it's just like me and you, if mm -hmm. you know everybody, mm -hmm. I'm going to stick to the person yes. that I know. Yeah, absolutely. Like when me and her first went. Or I'm going to be in the corner by myself. Yeah. Me and her first, the first time me and her went out somewhere, I think we went to Chimney's one time. And I and I invited my sister. Mm -hmm. She didn't know my sister. Mm -hmm. Nope. But I, but I know both of them. Yeah. So I invited my sister. I knew that she, like, I learned this early on that she had social anxiety. <laughs> but I still invited my sister anyway. So to make her feel more comfortable, my sister used to work at the company that both of us worked at. Mm -hmm. So we was talking about work mutual stuff, things. like mutual stuff, stuff that to we all can have conversation about. Like, I, I, I pay attention to shit like that. Mm -hmm. Some people don't, and but she does. For me, if I take her somewhere where people just me that she know me, I talk to her the whole time and distract yeah. the fuck out of her. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, there you yeah. Or she tried to get me to come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but she don't Because I, I, I don't I know what it is. Out. Like, it, it don't exactly. matter. Even though I know him, I will find somebody else. I'm like, I just don't want to go by myself. Yeah. yeah. Please come with me. Yes. <laughs> They'll call me. I go, I go somewhere I want to be at. Like, where, where you going? I don't want to be there. I got you. What's up? Yeah, okay. I got See, you. I don't get like that in, in sadness. I just, if it's something, I, I, I probably won't talk to your ass, yeah. but hey. Whatever. So key off of that too. With everything that's going on with everybody, if you in a relationship with somebody oh, shit. and they say that they ex died and they crying over their ex passing away, how do you feel about it? Stop playing with me. Hmm. I'm asking you. I'm coming your you way. Stop, one... stop playing with me. Stop playing with you. So that's yeah. your reaction to it? Yeah. So stop they ain't allowed to cry if they ex passed away. Was y'all friends? Because first of all, how, about, how long ago was it when y'all broke up? Was you still let's, talking? Let's to go, you? let's go. <laughs> they ex they was broken up for about four or five years. Four five years? Four five years. Okay. Rest in peace. Go ahead. I, I'm waiting for you. Go ahead. I, I know you got a good one. Go ahead. Uh-huh. So this uh -huh. is the last war for me. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
Me and my ex were together for 14 years, and I proposed twice. We were engaged for 10 out of the 14 years. She became family to me. Great person. Our, we've only been broken up for about four years, three or four years now. Three Never years. married? Never married. I proposed twice. She said yes, twice. Both rings were immaculate. And why she didn't? Uh, I couldn't tell you. It wasn't you? I don't think it was either of us. I just think that she didn't want to be married to me, but she couldn't say she didn't. At, she was. Yeah, she's one of those truth, very nice people who mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt she your just feelings. Know how to say no. I would rather just be no, here. She got. She has to sit in her truth. And if your truth is that you don't want this, don't say yes. She's very. We had a. We yeah. Very yeah, non-confrontational. Non I'm a very confrontational person, and but not in the sense of like. <laughs> I'm, but not in the sense Jesus. of like I want to so fight don't all the time. Play. I mean, don't get me wrong. I fight party. you like a dog in the street. <laughs> As you should. I don't brag about it, but I, <laughs> hey, I can hold my own. Don't let this 300 fool you. I'll move this motherfucker to the back and get to work. Y'all heard what he I'm said. I'm just one of them. You heard what he but said. But with her, she's very non-confrontational, so we just kind of moved about life. We just, we just kept going. And then one and day I was team. like, bro, I'm not happy. And uh, to make a long story short, we brought it to a close after 14 years. We still lived together for a year and a half after that because I'm not a dickhead. I was raised by my mama and I know how to treat women even after the fact. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we live together is because she held me down for years. Big up to mom. Mm -hmm. It's my baby. <laughs> but she held me down for years. And finally, we move into a place where we don't have rent. There's no mortgage. We moved into my mama's house after she passed away. And I'm like, I can't tell you to find somewhere else to live because we're not together we can be live right. here and we, that's what happened and build yourself now up. that gets messy of course of course it gets, it gets backslides i mean backslides i mean mm -hmm. i mean no diddy but nigga baby <laughs> go <laughs> down the back <laughs> nigga backslide <laughs> and i mean i mean it's it's about to happen. i mean down the back nigga not backslide and it's so, bound to happen and even, even like having to watch her roll into like being with other men, I had to watch that. And it was very difficult, bless you. It was very, very difficult. But I say all that to say she became family after 14 years. So if, if she passed away, I would be fucked up. And we don't even talk. But that, to me, that's different. Okay. If you've been with somebody for less you got time, minute, you got time invested. Yeah, but that's half my life. You got a lot of time. The question was time invested. Question in general, if a motherfucking ex died and they start crying, you got a fucking issue with that. Well, can I can I still cry over mine? Yeah, shit. My thing is, you can't tell somebody how to be emotional. Listen, I'm gonna let you cry, but I don't want to hear about the shit. Cry about that shit in the bathroom. You gonna have to go to therapy about this shit at some point. You gonna have to cry about that shit in the car. Now, there's a difference in my opinion of crying. And the bike seat. If if, if I if you tell me your ex died and you hit me with one of them Denzels and one tear come down, I can respect it. But nigga, if you snotting, boo hooing, all this coming down, face red. I'm like, bro, if she died today, my shoulders is gonna oh, shake when I cry. I'm talking, about, nigga. I'm gonna be here they with it. I'm gonna be fucked up. I expect it because expect that was my dog for fourteen I respect, years. I, I, I expect that to happen. But I'm gonna be, if but, somebody tell me today, no. but how he's talking about, he's honest about that. And he's gonna tell the next person with, yes. he's, he's gonna be honest oh, about yeah, that. I'm gonna be yes. fucked up. But if you've never expressed this to me, or never told That's me different. this, nothing like that, yeah. and you. You just have your time. I'm gonna be like, too. so when the last time well, y'all fucked? Y'all fucked last week? Oh, okay. When, All right. When All the right. last time y'all fucked? No, I'll because you know what? Thank you. You, you cried a little too motherfucking hard. I had. No, because I did. I did see. think about that uh -huh. a long time ago because I had a fiance that passed away. Mm -hmm. He been gone ten years now. Mm -hmm. If I in the midst of me talk, like I ain't really had too many after he passed. I ain't really had. I probably had like two relationships, like for real relationships after he passed. Mm -hmm. But but your time frame been so long between. That. Between that's yeah, what that's, I'm that's, saying. That's so I had I had a long like after he passed. I probably didn't date nobody again. Probably it was like five years, and when we dated, it was like 
the fucking relationship only lasts eight months. Like, I need this question I, to be I, a little bit more specific. I didn't have to. I it can't be. It. It, can't be. <laughs> it can't be. It's, 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 it's so many, it it's, it's it's so many different factors too. You can't yeah. Because the emotion is still the it's emotion. It's still there. So like yeah. after, t- after 10 years, I don't cry as much. Mm-hmm. Like his birthday just passed. I don't cry as much, but I still miss him. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking miss about y'all, I miss y'all him y'all dearly. Years and I'm talking about Mine was in general. Been, it was in general. My his question. was in general. Who's general. Been, My question was in general. Maybe a year. <laughs> if y'all at that been, point, if y'all what been together, you for? what are you crying for? At I don't that point, I'm just, I have to. Have, so when is the last time y'all? Y'all switched. You, you, you gonna miss that dick, huh? I need to I know. Know. I I know. know. I wasn't the one that that baby in the motherfucking house. That knew that wasn't the oil. I would be fucked up. I brought that shit. This smell like kipta oil. This smell kipta oil. Your man smell like kipta oil. Your woman smell like kipta oil. Johnson, 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 and do, and do. Because my thing is, I can have compassion for you. I'm like, oh damn, that's fucked up. How long has it been? But like I said, if I see you out here on bid to be like boys to men, we gotta have a conversation. Like you in the like, rain, like you raging. Like you it's not that, that shit. Long, you so distraught that you can't think. Mm-hmm. You can't go to work. Like we got a problem. Like, we gonna have a problem. You ain't work through them emotions. You ain't let because you ain't. Yeah. We need to go therapy. We need to talk. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Therapy. Which means that how how are we? How are you haven't moved past it. My is I think too damn stupid. I feel like. You cried as bad. This nigga, you ain't gonna never cry with me like this. Oh, shit. <laughs> I wouldn't even be like this. You ain't gonna cry with me like this. I would instantly be pissed off, though. I wouldn't be mad. I would I would make it very clear. I understand your emotions. I'm not gonna console you. And I'm not. I'm not. We're gonna circle back to this when you get back. We're we gonna circle back. When we go to couples therapy, we'll talk about it in couples therapy, but I'm not <laughs> gonna console you while you grieve the loss of your past. Cause you should agree that shit already. A long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Like so. so that are we, are like, we allowing that person to go to the funeral? Go to the funeral, nigga. Then. I'm shit, you. God damn. No, for real. I feel that the competition so, over with. Dog, I won. I live, nigga. Hello. <laughs> and there he is. Fuck, fuck you, want I live. I'm still breathing. You know how fuck I live, nigga. Can, you do, you, <laughs> Can you do that? What you want? Can you do that? Every morning, I still every morning. Last suit you got to wear, cause I'm gonna go out. No, for real, dead ass. I will go. Better hope you sleep after me and get me, nigga. Until then. No, for real. Dead ass. Jesus. No, no, no. That nigga was a weak ass nigga. He didn't wake up. That nigga was a weak ass nigga. He didn't wake up. You crying over a nigga that didn't want to wake up? You mean you can't fight the Grim Reaper? You weak. You weak. Weak ass nigga. I can't. Ain't nothing I can do. I fight him every night. Because I stopped breathing for at least a minute in my sleep. I don't know how long you supposed to go without air, but I do. I want. Hey. <laughs> hey. Look, one of us wanted this morning you now, hey. now you better not go to the repass. Because if you go to the repass, that means you've been in connection with his family. I'm trying to and say I got a fucking problem with that. Just saying. That means y'all been texting yeah. throughout the yeah. relationship. Oh, okay. Right. That right. means they still like you. You still yeah. got Miss Carol <laughs> number saying, and, 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 and she still think you her daughter. Uh, baby. Oh, that's that kind of shit you know. You're you going to always be my daughter in law. Yeah. Yeah. fuck she ain't. You I got a plate for you every time you come over here, baby. And I don't want it. Call me what you want. Just I gotta go to collect. my niece's birthday party. No, you don't. Uh, you well, know, I ain't never met you. You ain't got no siblings. You ain't got no siblings. You ain't got no siblings, bitch. You shit me. No, but that, I don't know. I feel like what you said. If you grieving mm-hmm. your past, you should have grieved this shit a long time yeah. ago. Like, when he passed, I didn't want to put not, Like, everybody kept on talking, so, oh, you need the day, you need the day, he gone, blah, blah, blah. But for me, for my mental... Mm-hmm. I just couldn't bring somebody into that. Like, I'm still crying. Like, I'm frequently crying. And, and I cannot bring someone. Like, even with the last dude I was talking to, I was going through a healing journey. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't want to bring you into that. Like, not saying that I was fucked up, but I was a little fucked up, though. So, I'm on the tail end of Yeah, life. like, I, I don't want. I'm, I'm trying to heal from some shit. And, fucked up. Yeah. Hello? Do you hear me? <laughs> That's ass. a combination right there. That's yeah, a fucked up combination. Why everybody got the tism with your ass? Because we do. Slightly. Slightly. And we undiagnosed. 7.6%. 7.6%. That's a lot. That's a fucking lot. That's a lot. I diagnose people with this shit. 7.6%. You get a check. I'm just saying. We on that bus. 
But what did the wheels do? Go around. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 what the fuck your wheels do? But that's what mine do. Mine do. Mine, I forgot. I forgot. I was like, oop, oop, oop. But yeah, I just, when you in that, like, I couldn't bring somebody in. Like, even after that, I couldn't bring nobody in for that. Mm-hmm. When I was he- doing my healers, I could not bring, like, I'm not selfish. No, yeah. I can't bring somebody in when I know that I still got some work to fucking do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And until I'm to a point where I think that I could kind of do something, which is the reason why he actually that got sense. in, because mm-hmm. I kind of felt like I was in a better, I was in a better headspace. Mm-hmm. In my mind, mentally, physically, Emotionally, like I was in a better spot, but no, people selfish. I I just can't. So, as a person who is therapized, I will, I want to ask this: Is my shit therapized? Because that's that my shit therapized. That needs to be for now on, I'm therapized. Pay, I pay for this shit, and I can't stand this bitch. <laughs> you can't stand it. <laughs> I, I <was. laughs> She's she's like seventy eight. Oh, she probably weighed ninety pounds. <laughs> She been doing this shit for 40, 50 years. Like, I want to wreck this bitch I'm every looking, week. I'm looking for me a therapist. She That's is right. the worst, but that oh. lets me know she's doing her job. She's fucking mm-hmm. incredible. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, if you don't talk about your therapist like this, you're they, not doing, they're not doing their job. You're lying to your therapist. Yes. And you expected them to put the pieces yes. together where you lying. I know somebody that's like that. And I, I treat my therapist like I treat my doctor. I tell the truth and the whole truth and nothing but the truth. No, go. If something growing on my ass, I'm going to toot this ass up at my doctor and ask, what the fuck is this? <laughs> And tell me what's going on. So my question, what's going on, my question is, do you put a time frame on the healing journey for somebody to come in? Or do you just wait till the tears stop? There's no time frame. It's, it's, it's like falling in love. I agree. It's like falling in love. There's no time frame. Right. It just happens. And you there's a point where you're like, all right, cool, I'm ready. No, I agree. 100%. Yeah. Uh, it's like falling in love. It's like crazy. When I, yeah, when, after, happens when after happens. he passed, and I took that little five years or whatever. I, I know. I took Mind your business. Don't do my sister. She's she about 55. And I said, you know, not five years is a long time. Her time. I, took, I took some time because I needed it. Yeah. It was like the state of mind that I was in, it was unhealthy for me to bring anybody in. Yeah, it would have been toxic at that point. Yes, it would have been. I st- at, the, at that point, I still had, I still had his clothes. Mm. I still had teddy bears and stuff that he gave. I still had letters that, that he wrote to me that was still visible. Like, I still had them sitting out. I had the bag that he had of the clothes that he had when he was at the hospital that still had his scent on. I still, like, that shit was unhealthy. Shit that which should have been yeah. Yeah. Huh? Did you box all this up? It was in a spot in my basement at the time. And I think the first year that he was gone, my church did like, we do like this little outreach giveaway where we give back to the community. I took all his clothes. I washed them up. That was my first step. I took all his stuff, washed it up. I took it out there. Because everybody kept saying, oh, we'll take it to the Red Cross, da 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 I'm like, no, these mm-hmm. motherfuckers going to put a tag on it. Mm-hmm. I don't want to dip- I don't want to put no I cost on, on it. I want to give it. Mm-hmm. And, like, it was therapeutic to see people walk up and actually take his stuff that was in need, that mm-hmm. needed it. So that helped me the first year. And then, mm, close to... Year five is when I actually like got rid of the bag. Like when we got ready to move from where we was to where we are now, mm-hmm. I got rid. I I was going through thought because you know when you packing up stuff, you ain't trying to take half that shit with you. So I seen the bag over there in the corner. <laughs> I opened the bag up. His scent was still on there because it was closed up. Mm-hmm. I knew right then and there, like okay, we leave because he was there with us. I knew then this is the last chapter like i like this, this is like this is it like i knew it was time to let that go and i did and i felt i felt good like throwing that stuff in the trash can because i'm like i don't need i don't need this i use this as part of my healing process but i don't need this as a crutch no more mm-hmm. now the teddy bears that he gave me fucking letters that he wrote me that shit in the closet somewhere in the box listen getting rid of the loved one it's so motherfucking it hard, especially relationship wise. Yeah. Just in general. Je- uh, yeah. Like once they pass, that shit is hard. My mama, God rest her so I can talk about her all day long. When it was time for me to get rid of her shit, first of all, it took me two and a half years. 
but I gave, I had everything bagged up. Cause my mama was, like I said, she was vain as fuck. So furs, diamonds, gold, that was her shit. And she wasn't leaving the house unless her hair was done. Now my mama don't get me wrong. She'll run to she'll run to Walmart and some scrubs with no bra on and a do rag on her head. Put a with no bra on. <laughs> but this is the same woman that got that put clothes on to go to jail. So she was messing with this man for ten years. He left her for a white woman. She didn't like it. She put on her heels. She put on a Gucci outfit, a Gucci dress, mm -hmm. and top and bottom set. And a full length fur coat, did her yeah. makeup, did her hair, put all her nails on, you know, her nails was done. She put her rings on, the whole shit, put her necklaces on, and went and busted every window out of his house. I feel like this is some what's love got to do with it type of shit. What's love got to do with it, though? <laughs> she <laughs> on my mama. And so, the whole reason why she did that, she said, I wanted my mug shot to look nice. Period. So, because this is how vain she was. Period. But my mama didn't wear makeup, she just put her little lip on. And she, you know, that was about it. She put her eye, what is it, the shit you put on your lashes? Yeah, she, me, mascara. That, mascara. Or she put it on, did the volume on the lashes, and went over there and busted all the windows out this man's house. Then she called the police and oh, said, this is what, I'd have vandalized this man's property. Yeah. I'll be here when you get here. <laughs> Damn. They Damn. put her in a separate cell <laughs> by herself because they didn't want the other inmates fucking with her. Yes, they shouldn't. They called they her madam the whole entire her. night. Because they know she was going to fuck them up. I just think it was because it was a respect factor. <laughs> like, this lady got on a, it's a fox fur. A whole entire, mm -hmm. a floor length fox fur. In July. Damn. Oh, yeah. I ain't fucking with her. Oh, please. I ain't fucking with like, her. Like. Hell no. Nah, I call her madam too. But I know she know. sat in that jail like. Hmm. She said, yeah, when, when we went, so so you when we went, got her. She had her she legs crossed on the. She was on the bunk bed on the top bunk, mm -hmm. and she had her legs crossed, and her her hands was inside her jacket pocket, and her fur was on, and that was it. And she left out of that motherfucker without her hair out of place. I feel like she had a mean shimmy to it. Mm -hmm. My mama was a motherfucker, but even with that, I still have her furs. I still have the outfit she wore at my college graduation, but everything else is gone. I gave to a women's shelter. But it was very fucking difficult because my mama wore, she wore white diamond and she wore Chanel number five. White diamond, man. It's, it's, it's so I bad. hate it. But mama, I used to at, buy the end of her life, at the end of her life, she wore Chanel number five. So because of that, even now to this day, when I open my closet, it smells like Chanel number five. Mm -hmm. And I've done everything I could think of to get rid of the scent, but it's not, not going nowhere. It's not going anywhere. It ain't going no fucking where because she's in the fabric. She's in there. So, yeah. But white diamond smell. and uh, Chanel number no five, baby, them, them is some old school. They was smell. high yeah. shit back in the day. But, but she was that kind of girl. Months. But that's another episode, if you will. Appreciate you coming on, my brother. All hey, Casey, to St. Louis. To do Glad show. to be here, <laughs> finally. You know, finally. Finally. You know, and you know, we got Busty D to the right, as always. I don't like you. <laughs> I want them to know that. Hashtag train, keep it going this week. Busty D. No, don't. Hashtag train, don't. Busty D. Don't, don't do that. 500 listen. likes with a 500 Busty D's. I'll grow my hair out. No. He lying. <laughs> <laughs> It's the next night is another episode if you will. We out of here. Peace.